boy, that escalated quickly. I mean, that really got out of hand fast. I remember my family first meeting her and being incredibly impressed. Some of them didn't quite know what to do with themselves. <laughs> what an idiot! Because um, I think they were. They were surprised. Maybe surprised that a ginger could land such a beautiful woman. Nope. <laughs> and such an intelligent woman. That's not his family. That's him. And he's, he's not wrong. Does anyone really think if he were Harry Jones instead of Harry Windsor? You kidding me? This beautiful, semi-known social climber would have given him the time of day? It is a bit shocking that she's with him. Until you consider his title, fame, family, money, sort of. Ca Are you kidding me? Castles, staff, and access to fabulous things and people. That's what lured her in, clearly. Not Harry's red hair. <laughs> and not his Mensa IQ, either. Just kidding, that's not a real thing. Oh! Great Odin's Raven! Remember when he called the First Amendment bonkers? This is no scholar. All of this is a downside of being a prince, I guess. And not even the heir, just the spare. Honestly, though, it's probably also a downside of being a Gates or a Jobs or a Zuckerberg or a Beckham or a Brady. But it does explain why she so easily leads him around now by his little red puppy dog ears. Top that off with her damsel in distress routine every time a tabloid or a tweet or an anonymous internet troll says something nasty about her, and you have the perfect cocktail for frustration, tears, and eventually. Yeah. 